Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to another exciting Blender tutorial and uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to make a character a punch an object uh, like a punching bag in Blender 2.8 using the physics simulation and uh, uh, Mixamo. Uh, so Mixamo is just a website where you can download free character animations uh, like this and uh, the way it works is say you are looking for uh, what we are going to do here a uh, character punching something or kicking something uh, you can just type in here something like kick and uh, you should find a few animations and uh, if you want to preview say let's preview uh, this here uh, this is a good kick here you can see you just click on it and uh, it should play back here and you can drag uh, the viewport here to look at uh, the animation as you want uh, let's see this here So maybe let's go with this. So after you're done with that, you can just click download to uh, download the entire rig here. Just click that. I uh, choose the format. FBX works fine, and uh, we can just choose that. If you want to change uh, the frame rate, you can do that as well here. And yeah, if you want to download the actual character, not just the uh, the bones, I make sure you select with skin and uh, hit download and uh, it should take it's about it's usually about uh, two mbs it's not a very big file so uh, it shouldn't take that long to download also you have to be subs uh, signed in to your adobe uh, account uh, which is a free account you can download for free so yeah this is the it's already downloaded here uh, so let me go to blender here now to import it, just go add a file, import fbx, and you can locate uh, the file uh, to, I think it's called MMA kick. And you can see now it's loaded in, and uh, if we play back, you can see we get our kick. Uh, so it's a bit slow for me because uh, I think this uh, they apply the subdivision so what I'm going to do just to make sure that uh, my PC is not too laggy I'm just going to add a decimate modifier and reduce some of the uh, polygon count uh, on this mesh so decimate and uh, go to unsubdivide I'm just trying to reduce uh, the polygon count here to equal this as well Estimate, subdivide, great. It won't affect the animation. I the animation still plays just fine. Great. So after importing your character, we can start working on the physics. So we just add a ground plane here. And uh, let's make our punching bag. Uh, so I'm just going to do something simple here. I'll just add a cylinder. Uh, scale it in the Z plane I like that we just have it here and maybe round off uh, these corners just a bit just to make it more similar to a punching bag something like that and now for the physics um, I just want to have this tied on a rope or something like here and uh, for that I'm going to use uh, physics constraints so let me select these two and give them a rigid body active uh, this top here should be rigid body passive because I want this to be tied to this so I can select this and this and then object rigid body connect uh, the two and then now if I play back, let's start from here. Nothing is really happening here. But, uh, let's see. Now, if I select this character, I can go to the physics tab and also give him or give her a rigid body object. Uh, see, it will just fall uh, through the ground. Let me also make this make sure that this ground is also a rigid body, but I'll type passive. Just 
position this so that it's it can collide if you want to move the character around make sure you are selecting the the bonds and not the mesh so put it around here okay now if you want this to collide uh, to, to actually hit uh, this punching bag you need to give it uh, you, you need to give it uh, the animated you need to check animated here so that uh, the keyframes are put in place are respected and also you want to change the collision shape to mesh and turn on deforming uh, because it's being deformed uh, by the amateur you can see let me reduce my time frame to about 100 you can see there is movement in our in our punching bag but it's not behaving like a punching bag and because of this constraint uh, uh, the constraint type is set to fixed I want it to be set to uh, to point so that it can rotate uh, like that so that it can behave like that but uh, the problem right now is that uh, our pivot point is too close to the punching bag so we want to have it uh, near the top there so now we can have something like that I think I need to reposition this just a bit. Uh, sometimes it helps applying the scale of these objects. And you can see we're getting uh, the desired movement. Uh, if you want the rope to be more kind of elastic, uh, you can duplicate uh, this, this uh, I don't know, I can call it a string. Let me first remove the rigid body so that I can easily move it. So you can duplicate this a few times. Uh, let me just also scale this. Uh, duplicate, uh, let's see, some, something with a keyboard. Scale it something like that. Duplicate this again. Something like that. But uh, this time, this should be of rigid body type additive. Uh, active sorry so they will just fall through because they don't have any constraints attached to them let me first scale this down a bit and uh, what you want to do is uh, connect start connecting these constraints duplicate that every piece should be connected uh, to the other using uh, a point rigid body constraint that so this should connect this to that and this should connect that to that and uh, this here should connect that to the to this here see we're getting something like so so if you want this to be a little bit more elastic you just increase uh, the mass of these blocks again sometimes applying the scale does help see getting a much more realistic movement uh, if I reduce uh, the 
the mass of this rope uh, which is just uh, these individual blocks here and uh, make sure that uh, the punching bag is heavier uh, than these uh, it will make them a little bit more elastic i think this was a bit too small so let me put this at one one and one you can see it becomes a bit elastic and bounces like that so i think we should push this a little bit up and uh, uh, if you want uh, the kick to be more powerful you might want to increase uh, the speed of the animation or just move uh, the punching bag closer or move the character closer to the punching bag so that the kick goes in goes into the punching bag way in more than it's going in right now so let me show you what i mean here You can see the kick is barely touching the, the punching bag so if you want the kick to be more powerful you just need to move up the punching bag closer or the character closer to the punching bag okay. now that is a bit way powerful and uh, maybe not really well timed so let me try moving the character this time set him change this still just brushing off he's still brushing off uh, the punching bag just so see yeah so you definitely need to do you definitely need to do a little bit more experimenting than here than what i'm doing here but uh that's that's how yeah you can animate that thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial